Greetings and hello, Chris here with another interesting tutorial for Brizzy. Today I would like to talk about pop-ups. Um, in our community where there have been some confusions about how pop-ups work in Brizzy and so I thought um, I will show you some examples. Well, I'm here on a, on a blank Brizzy page, so let's insert some layout we can play with. Okay, so this is, for example, now our page. And you would like to have here somewhere um, a pop-up coming up. So um, in, in Brizzy, you have two different kinds of pop-ups. Um, the global pop-ups and the local pop-ups. The local pop-ups only work on the page where you're at, and you can set a trigger only on that page. For example, let's take this button here and i click on the link and here i'm choosing now pop up H hit um, the gray box and now i can choose from the bazillion pop-ups brizzy brings you already um if you don't want to use one of them you can also choose um, a blank pop-up and with pop-ups you can also work with save or with global pop-ups. Not to uh, mix up with the other global pop-ups. They have both the same name, so uh, they are a little bit confusing. Global pop-ups here means I'm creating, for example, let's pick um, this one here. And if I'm entering the editor, now I can set this thing to a global pop-up. So whenever I'm going to change this local pop-up on one page, it will change on all pages where I'm going to use this pop-up. So that makes, for example, sense. Um, let's go back and delete this pop-up. And there was one, for example, to collect email addresses, this one here. This is, for example, a pop-up you want to use every time where you have a call to action, sign up my, my to my newsletter, stuff like that. And here it makes sense, for example, to make this pop-up then a global. So if you change something here, uh, you have a new text um, to, to bring people into your newsletter and you change it on one pop-up, all pop-ups change so you don't have to um, go to each page individually and uh, work there on your pop-ups so this are basically the local pop-ups local pop-ups only work um, as a link so whenever you have now here the word you hit the link button you see um, the pop-up section same goes for example here let's take this uh, whole container i'm going to link there you have the pop-up section these are the local pop-ups that work only on this page so i'm going to update this one and um, the second pop-up type you have they those are a little bit more complex you go to uh, in WordPress Brizzy, and there you see the point pop-ups. And here you have the so-called global pop-ups. That means pop-ups that affect your whole website and not just a single section of your page. And that's important. The difference is with global pop-ups, you have different triggers. And I'm going to show you them right now. Let's enter here, test publish and edit with Brizzy. And here you see this looks exactly as the blank basic Brizzy page, but now it says start building your pop-up and when you click the, the plus, you see you get the selection for the pop-ups only. So let's pick this one, for example. And now we can choose what how we want to trigger this pop-up and for that you go in the upper right section and hit the first icon the pop-up icon and here you now see as 
part three in this um, submenu display conditions. So, so when we click on this, you see um, it's basically set to on page load after one second. So let's delete this with thing and have a look what can we pick here. So we have on page load after seconds. So whenever whatever number you type in here, for example, five, now it would Brizzy would wait five seconds after the page was fin finally loaded and then show your pop up. So you also have the possibility to say on click and on click is a different click than the clicks of the of the local pop ups. Local pop up means you have to click on a link here. You can say you're going to count clicks. For example, if we enter 10, now people have to click on your page 10 times before the pop up shows up. So next thing is after inactivity. So when people stop scrolling, for example, on your page and do nothing else, they, they don't click, they don't move the mouse, nothing. Um, here, for example, let's say three seconds after someone doesn't do a thing within three seconds, the pop up shows up. Um, this is a typical thing you might know from a lot of pages whenever you try to move your mouse outside of the page, for example, uh, on the on the red X here to close the uh, browser, then the pop up shows up. Um, you also have the the option to say uh, show after, for example, page views. Um, that means that someone clicks through all your pages or reads more um, blog posts and stuff like that. Or you can say after a specific time of sessions. That means, um, for example, now here, the person have to visit your website three times and then the pop up shows up. This obviously uses cookies. Um, you can also choose show on devices. So the pop up will only show on desktop or on tablet or on mobile. Or you also can say arriving from um, and there you can say, OK, only if the person comes from a specific website, for example, Google, um, then they will see this pop up and that helps, um, for example, if you work with affiliate websites or specific landing pages and you know um, someone is coming from one of your landing pages and you want to tell them, hey, you can get, for example, 15% discount or something like that. So this is what you need then. And these are all the triggers we have. And the great amazing thing is you can combi combine them as you wish. So you see there is a ton uh, of stuff um, arriving from hide lock users. Uh, I accidentally put them. Yeah, well, you see th there is a ton of things. I accidentally inserted some twice or three times. And then we have the section called conditions. And this is very interesting because now here you can say include all. That means on your whole website, this thing will show. Um, and now you have the, the possibility, for example, to say only on posts. And here you can choose which post exactly or only on pages. And now you can choose on which page exactly. Same goes with media, then you have to uh, pick the image. So only if a specific image is on a website, the pop up will fire. Categories, same thing, you choose one of the categories, tags, well, you get the idea. And you also have the, the option to say exclude. So for example, we can say uh, here include all but I don't want to have it on a page about me. 
So the pop-up will show on every single page on your website, but not on About Me. And there you have the, the same possibilities as before. You can also, for example, choose a media file. Um, whenever this icon is on the website, the pop-up won't fire. So you see the global pop-ups in, in WordPress and Brizzy are very powerful and you can combine them and choose them, whatever you want to do and however you want to do. So I hope this small tutorial helps you to clear things up and you know in the future how to work with pop-ups efficiently. Bye-bye.